welcome to my channel. Oh, it could be like Jurassic Park, welcome to Sydney's channel. That was intense. Right? Yeah. A bit much. I like it. We'll keep that. Should we try it again? Oh, what? You should find animated doors. So what? it's like, welcome to Sydney's channel. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Okay. So, I'm not going to be really explaining what I'm doing. I just want to sit here and talk to you guys while I put on makeup. There's going to be a few things here and there that I'll talk about. But, for the most part, I just want to get ready with you guys. Oh, and it's also like 8.30 at night, so... I don't know why I'm getting ready. Okay. Get all those problem areas, which would be my whole face. So that's good. And there's like three right down here by my lip and one up here that's really giving me trouble. But other than that, I feel like for the most part we can cover everything else up. The big struggle today is going to be these dark circles. Now, I've been having a bit of trouble with foundation lately. I started using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And it broke my face out. I'm pretty sure it's because of the coconut water or coconut oil. There's something coconut in there that my face does not like. So I had to stop using that. And then I started using this Fenty foundation. And it's too dark for me. So that's good. We're going to keep using it. Because it looks pretty good when I put it on my skin. Like, it doesn't look bad. Oh yeah, it oxidizes. So, by the end of this video, I'll be orange, which is great. But I'm gonna try and counteract that with something else. Oh, but, so, now, I'm gonna go in with something a little thicker and a little lighter. It is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. Um, and Fair Light Neutral. And if you wanted to know what the Fenty was, pretty sure it's 150. Yeah, 150. For sure. I can already tell this is either not full coverage enough or my zits are worse off than I thought. But I literally just popped one before we start this video, so I don't know how good that was for me or this video. Hmm. It doesn't look too bad though. I'll do the same thing for my forehead. Use this clay stick again. Yes. It's like a twister strudel. Okay. So, in the other video I made trying to like not do the same look, but do the same kind of thing, and it just didn't work out, so I had to redo it. I started talking about um, Mac Miller's death, and at first, I was just going to talk about, like, how hurt I was by it, and how much I've been listening to his music, but as time went on, and how my Facebook 
has just been blowing up about it. I just decided to come on here and tell like a different perspective, I guess, than what the rest of the internet is having. Because apparently people are blaming Ariana Grande for his death. Because like apparently they think that she wasn't supposed to leave him, but um, just from like my point of view, um, it whew, this is gonna get hot as fuck. I can tell. Um, like his drug abuse wasn't gonna get any better because she was with him. Like, that's not even close to how it works. And, like, it is so much easier to pull someone down into the pits with them than for your, like, positivity and sunshine and rainbows to pull someone up. Like, it's so much easier to drive someone down with you. So, if she saw him getting really bad, she she would have had to save herself. That being said, like her breaking up with him and then date going off and dating someone for a couple weeks and then getting engaged to him. It would have been really sucky like I don't even know how I would have processed that probably not good probably not healthy so I'm not saying it's Ariana's fault I'm saying that's why he started using more that's why it got that bad I'm not saying she sort of like stayed with him or anything like that she just she had to save herself and I get that I also get Mac Miller's son all right so I got the Laura Mercier under my setting on my concealer good god but after it sets and I wipe it off you're gonna see what I'm talking about like you can still see the darkness under my eyes and it's irritating me so much because I need the setting powder because my face is really oily but if it's gonna remove the coverage of the concealer I don't know what to do I do my eyes as far as still like putting a base down on my eyelids I still like this concealer it's still working good for that Thank God. And I don't know if it's just because I've gotten used to this concealer or what, but it's showing the flaws and I don't like it. I just realized that I've been talking about school a lot, but I haven't talked about why I'm going to school. That'd be kind of important. Um, so I'm going to school to be a cosmetologist and I'm super excited because not once have I thought about doing this career path. started dating my boyfriend that I'm still dating now I think I should clarify that and his mom 
is a cosmetologist and she's been doing hair for like 30 years like something crazy and um I had just like finished a job I was doing with my mom I'm pretty sure and I just needed some work to do I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick while we're talking about this I just needed some work to do because I needed money a I was living with my boyfriend and I felt like I was mooching off of him like him paying for the meals and like all the shopping and everything like that and I, I hated it I still hate it but she said well you can come work for me and like shampoo because I don't know about other places but in South Carolina you don't have to be licensed to shampoo so she said just come in and do that and I can pay you like eight dollars an hour I was like uh that sounds great so first day I went in to work with her it started off kind of rocky because I've been washing my hair forever so I thought it was gonna be super easy no it's the most awkward thing ever mostly because you don't know if you should talk to them because I don't like being talked to when I'm having my hair washed at a salon I just like want to relax and feel the scalp massage and all of that so I didn't know what to say to her what can you pause for a second yeah also when I'm doing my hair I feel like I'm being a lot more rough with me especially when I put on makeup or do something with my hair I'm just a lot more rough and I like that and I'm sure other people do too I don't know if I'm being too rough or I didn't know if I was being too rough on the client so I was super nervous about that and I have this I'm not diagnosed or anything I'm self diagnosing myself because it's gotten pretty serious I have hyper tried um hyper I sweat a lot I sweat a lot like a little bit too much I'm sitting on a shirt right now because my thighs are sweaty and if I get like I don't know if it's like social anxiety or no because I sweat at night too I don't know it starts with my back armpits thighs then goes to my face boobs and stomach it's everywhere and it's ridiculous but um oh god I forgot where I was going with that anyway back to my first day I was super nervous had no idea what I was doing but and I'm not gonna say her name because I don't know but for the sake of this story I will call her mm, hula perfect um so super nervous but hula was so amazing and she's been doing this for so long so she already has all of her anxiety out of the way whatever anxiety she had because your first client is nerve-wracking and the first client I had in school because in the school that we're at we have class where we actually learn about stuff and then eventually we go out to the salon floor where we work on real people or mannequins whichever one so my first client was an eyebrow wax and I had no help on it they just assumed I knew what I was doing because I had one class on it 
and just let me go for it. So that was nerve wracking. So for my first time washing someone's hair and having Hula next to me really helped me because she is a great conversationalist. I'm sorry I keep stopping, but I feel like I have to hold my breath to do my eyebrows. But Hula is so good at small talking and I hated it at first. Like, it didn't make any sense to me. I thought it was pointless. Like, oh my gosh. But she also had clients that was like, um, she was like a therapist to them. She, they told her all her problems and like she did, she like talked about what she thought she would do. And at this point, I'm still thinking that I'm gonna be an accountant. I just need to like save up some money or something. So. <sighs> I'm okay with that. Um, it wasn't until like my second week in where I was like, like, I was helping check people out. I was taking checks to her bank. Like I was seeing how much money she was making. And I was like, I could do this. I could do hair all day and make a bunch of money. Cause she was making a bunch of money, a bunch. It, it was ridiculous just to sit there and talk and play with hair. Like it was crazy. How much money she was making um so i was like i need to find some schools around me so i can get started on this because i was also getting really serious with my boyfriend and i wanted to move in with him well i was already kind of moved in with him and his roommate but I wanted me and him to have our own place. So I was like, we can't do that off of what just, he, what only he makes. So I'm gonna need to get not only a job, but like start making a career. Cause like jobs only get you so far. And I wanna go to the top. I wanna be at the top. So, okay, now. I'm going in with the Norvina palette and I have played with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost all of the shades except for one. And I am in love with this palette and love, but I will tell you, I didn't think like, even though there's 14 shades in there. The only shades I were looking at is the purple ones and the pink ones. Like, I didn't really care about the other ones. But, this is the only palette that I have come up with the most combination of colors. And it never looks the same. And, oh, God, it's amazing. And I really don't know what kind of look I'm going for right now. Cause I never do. I just kind of like put on one color at a time and eventually it comes to me. So why change it now? Hey, it's I still have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I know it involves pink. This pink one is so
Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. I feel like we were talking about something before. <coughs> I started this pink. It'll come back to me. But in the meantime, I don't know how many people watching this are going to be a Burt Reynolds fan, but, and I, I wouldn't even call myself a, ban a fan, but I have seen Smokey and the Bandit at least 15 times with my dad. So that would make me something, right? Because he loved that movie. And I think I was like six when I heard about it. And I was like, I've never seen that movie. And then he wanted to watch it like 15 times in a row. I'm just kidding. But we did watch it a lot. So. Been going there with that celestial. It pulls me in every single time. Okay. Um. But yeah. And then I found out he died, and I was like, I have to tell my mother. She is going to cry. And no. Turns out apparently she knew it was coming, and I didn't. Like. How do you know someone's going to have a, what is it, a, it wasn't from natural causes, that's what happened, even though he was 82 years old, he had like medical problems with him, so, but apparently she knew it was coming, which makes sense. But I'm probably going to use this one right here, Dreamer, and it is the prettiest shade ever. The only one I feel like, the only one I haven't used is this Drama right here, and mostly because I can't find like an eye combination that would work good on me to even use that. And I don't like the rose gold. I can't, it, it, it's chunky, and I can't get it on my brush to get it onto my eyes. I haven't tried my finger because I'm just not doing that. So, um, here we go. I guess I can use this. So, I'm going to say Dreamer. like all around whole lid like really get up in there don't be afraid of the glitter yes yes bitch yes okay now the other side lay it down in here yes oh my gosh this came out better than I thought Mostly because I didn't know I was doing this, so it could have came out either way, and I would have thought it was great. Now, to just make it all work, I'm going to go back in with the transition shade I used. Just to blend it all out. Not like blend it out, just make it look like I did just put seven seven shades on my eyelids oh my god jesus i need to label these things you could always do one of the speed it up until you're done and then you talk about it okay
I also need to put some color back into my skin to make it look like I'm not dead. So, that's where blush comes in, right? And at first I tried the NARS Orgasm and that was pretty good, but I thought there was like glitter or something in it, like sparkles. I thought there were sparkles in it. I'm not sure. It wasn't a good fit for me, but I kept wearing it because that's all I had. And then I got the Tarte Pate blush. And I mean, it's cute. It's not like too much. I don't look like a clown. And I mean, for the most part, it's really cute. And I like it, but I don't know. I feel like it fades away super fast, like too fast. So I need someone to give me their opinion because I cannot be the only one having that problem. The blush, okay. I need help with that. So if someone could please help me, that'd be great. Now, to finish this up, I only have three more things to do, and then we will be done. Highlighter. sitting here and watching this disaster and I'll see you guys next week I'm keeping that in